Welcome back. I'm Shannon Baldridge, and I'm the coordinator of certification and catechesis for the Office of Evangelization and Catechesis of the Diocese of Baton Rouge. In our last training video, we went over how to log into the catechetical certification database for the first time. In this training video, we're going to go through how to add or edit profiles and what kinds of information should be recorded in those profiles. We're going to start by adding a new profile. Once you've logged in and are looking at your list, look above to the right and you should see an icon that looks like a plus sign. When you hover over it, it says New Record. Clicking that icon is what opens up a blank record so you can create a profile for a new employee or volunteer. You will see the Personal Information section at the top, followed by the Employment or Volunteer information. This entire top portion is the only part of the profile you will be able to fill out or edit. The rest is only editable by the staff of our Office of Evangelization and Catechesis. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will be creating a mock profile for our bishop. So I'm going to enter his full name, Michael Gerard Duca, and I'm going to mark that he's male. Now that I've added in his address, phone numbers, and email address, I'll also indicate that he is Catholic. Next, I'm going to add his hire date, and please make note of this. Once a date is entered, you're going to leave the original hire date alone, even if someone changes schools or parishes. We want this hire date to reflect the first time this person started working in some capacity for the diocese. So, if they started working at St. Thomas More School, but later went to work for Most Blessed Sacrament School, you still leave the original hire date from when they started working at St. Thomas More. This next checkbox most of you probably won't ever have to mark. This is something our office uses for profiles of people from other dioceses or in special programs. These next radio buttons are important. You'll select Active for people who are currently involved in your school or parish. At a later point, if that person leaves your school or parish, you'll want to go into their profile and mark them inactive. We will explain why this is important later. You'll also want to mark if they're required to take MAC courses for their particular position or not. Some people aren't required to take MAC courses, but they choose to take the courses anyway for their own enrichment, and we strongly encourage this. But this selection will differentiate who needs certification and who doesn't. Under Employment or Volunteer Information, you'll want to make sure the Diocese of Baton Rouge is marked. Then select whether the person is working for your school or parish. The next drop-down list will populate with all the school or parish names depending on your previous selection. I'm going to select St. Joseph Cathedral for Bishop Duca's parish. In the following section, you'll want to select all the positions the catechist holds at your location. You can mark more than one position if necessary. Finally, you're going to enter the site coordinator. But remember, you're not entering a person's name. You're entering the name of the school or parish. So I'm going to type St. Alphonsus Parish because the cathedral doesn't have a site coordinator at this time. Once I see the parish I want pop up below, I'll select that one. This entry for the site coordinator is what gives you access to this profile going forward. If you accidentally select a school or parish you didn't intend and then save it, you will immediately lose access to the profile since it will be entered under a different site coordinator. If that happens, just reach out to me immediately so I can change it back to your account. 
This is the extent of the profile content for which you are responsible. The sections below all pertain to course credits, and only our office will be able to adjust those. You'll see the section for Basic Certification, Intermediate Certification, Catholic Sexual Morality Certification, Enrichment Credits, and other less common certifications like Advanced, Professional, and Youth Ministry. When everything has been entered into the top of the profile to your satisfaction, click Save. The new entry will now show up on your primary list and will be accessible at any time. If you need to find a specific profile, just use the search box at the top. Type in the name of the person whose profile you want to access. Then you can open it and see the information contained in that profile. If you decide you need to edit the profile, just click the paper and pen icon at the top right and the profile will become editable again. Click Save when you're done. If you want to open up a profile directly from your primary list, just click the blue paper icon in front of his or her name. That will open up the profile to view it. Here are a few things to keep in mind about maintaining your profiles. Before you create a profile for a new employee, make sure to ask them if they might have a profile stored under a different school or parish. If they think they might, send me an email with their name so I can check the whole database for that person. If I find them under a different school or parish, I will move them under your account. If not, then you can create a profile for them. Following these steps will avoid the creation of duplicate profiles for one person. Duplicate profiles can cause a lot of confusion later. You never want to delete a profile, just like you're never supposed to destroy the old physical profiles maintained on your site. These are considered permanent records. If a person no longer works for your school or parish, simply edit their profile and change them to inactive. The profile will still be stored on your primary list, but when you run the special reports, they will be filtered out. Unless that person moves to a different school or parish, they will remain on your primary list. Please notify us if someone changes to a different school or parish. If someone on your list passes away, you can notify our office and we will handle that person's profile accordingly on our end. In that case, they will be removed from your primary list, but an electronic copy will be retained by our office permanently for archival purposes. This brings us to the conclusion of our second Site Coordinator training video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me by email or phone.